what's it like being coached by a guy like him? I love him. He's the best guy ever. Um, he just came from Carolina uh, with Johnny Hecker, and um, I consider Johnny the best punter to have ever done it in the NFL. He's got seven of the top 50 net punting seasons of all time. So when Coach Foley has come from that to here, the standard is super high, and I love that. It pushes me every day um, to be better, and ultimately um, my goal is to be where Johnny is, and so I just love his knowledge and his wisdom that he brings from his time in the NFL. Yeah, I'm really excited um, to work the directional punting game a lot more this year. Um, that's something that's really important in the NFL to limit returns. Those uh, returners are dynamic, obviously. Um, other things they talk about, the whole staff talks about, is being a pro, having a process, um, coming in each and every day, having a routine and being committed. Um, because anyone can do great things, anyone can work hard for a short period of time. But the guys that last a long time in the NFL, um, they do it consistently day after day. And that's something I'm working on, and I know a lot of the guys on the team are working on. Is just having a process, um, coming in each and every day, and you know, doing the same warm up, you know, building a nutrition program, building a strength program, finding good recovery methods that work for our bodies, all sorts of different things that a lot of guys and the pros do. We're trying to build that um, in our team, um, and that's something that I think Coach Foley um, really learned in his time in the NFL. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I, I like being a football player. I don't like being, you know, kind of a glorified soccer player, as a lot of coaches I've had kind of refers to some, you know, stigmas around kickers and punters. Um, I did Taekwondo growing up. I never played soccer, so I've always kind of been involved in contact sports and stuff. Um, but I love um, hitting the weight room hard, hitting winter conditioning hard. I think it's a good way for me to get respect from my teammates because um, I'm not out there on the practice field, you know, hitting people as hard as they are um, day in and day out. So when I can show that I'm just as tough and I put in just as much effort as they do in through winter conditioning, I kind of see that as a time where I can also be a good leader um, and kind of earn their respect. So when we get to times during spring ball, they know that I'm here committed to the team, committed to each other because I showed that, you know, during winter conditioning. Right, let's go along with the um, being tough, tough question, but can you just talk about your time last year? It seemed like you got nicked up a little bit, but you still went after, you still um, hunted the ball. Just what, what was your response on last year? Yeah, it was really challenging. Um, I've moved on from that, but uh, I was kind of punting on one foot for a little bit there. I sprained my ankle three times and um, it was just a balloon, but uh, I was able to um, fortunately get out there and just um, work through that as much as I could. And um, I was able, you know, to have some really awesome teammates that helped me as well last year. We had awesome coaches and everyone that um, put together a great scheme to help me out. But um, we were able to finish strong, um, and I'm just really excited, looking forward to this year. Um, and my body feels the best that it's ever has. Coach Campbell's done a great job down there with us, and um, I'm just really looking forward to this year. Um, but yeah, last year was, it brought a lot of challenges, but I learned a lot too, and so I'm really thankful for that. Back to, uh, back to winter conditioning, mm -hmm. um, what did you specifically accomplish that you wanted that you set out to accomplish? Yeah, so my body, I lost. Um, nine pounds of fat and gained six pounds of muscle, dropped 4% body fat. That's pretty much what I was hoping to accomplish in terms of explosiveness. Um, I know that there's a lot of players who um, have much better numbers than that um, on our team. Um, I, I just think that I was able to increase my range of motion on my kicks, improve core strength, um, improve ankle strength, obviously. That's something I've been working on. Um, and so I feel really healthy. Um, I feel super excited to attack the summer training and go into next fall. Um, just ho ho hopeful um, to help the team as much as I can, and I feel you know more able to do that now that I'm you know in better shape. Yeah, very much because punting and kicking is a very technical position, so um, the fundamentals are huge for us. Um, but we have a process that we go through every day in our practice now. Um, it's really structured, um, and that's one thing that. Um, I kind of talked about that already, but we go through technique, we go through warm up, we go through working on our drops, we go through working on situations when the wind comes up. We have good conversations about how we're going to play the wind, um, aiming at different spots on the field, um, different types of punts we can work in our game. Um, and so, yeah, there's just a bunch of different technical things that we're going to use to our advantage this year because um, we got a lot of good returns we're going to face in the Big Ten. And ultimately, um, my goal is to hopefully go to NFL. And so if I can work harder on that right now on the technical things and help my team out as best I can this year, 
um, I think that'll help out uh, my ability in the long run to hopefully make a run. Brian, how do you improve ankle strength? Yeah, I've been working a lot of band isometric holds and then a lot of band like exercises. I've been working with the guys in the training room. Um, there's a lot of things as simple as like calf raises and stuff, and then there's a lot more like deep tissue massage stuff I can do. Uh, I got a stem machine at home that kind of pumps it a bunch. Um, it's called Compex. It's great. Um, and so there's a bunch of different things that I've been able to do, um, and I feel really good. I mean, it's 100% right now, so I don't have to worry about it. But uh, yeah, those guys have really helped me out a lot. A lot of this all new for you? What's that? Uh, yeah, I hadn't done a whole lot of that uh, previous, um, but I kind of see the advantages of it obviously now with how good I'm feeling um, lower body wise. Um, I've really kind of tried to hit every muscle area in my lower body this off season. I mean, I feel just a lot more explosive and I've been seeing the results on, on the punting field so far too, which um, I've been super thankful to Coach Campbell and all the teammates that I have for supporting me in the weight room and stuff um, going through that. Yeah, it's a combination of a lot of things. Um, accountability um, in the weight room, everyone's really pushing each other. Um, that's something that um, has been really good. Um, last year, um, I had uh, knee surgery in the off season, so I missed a lot of that conditioning period in the summer. Um, but yeah, this has been a great experience. I'm working really hard. The mat drills is a really hard physical time for our team, but it builds up brotherhood. And I loved it. Um, I attacked it, and I know a lot of guys really did too. And so it's a combination of working really hard, but also being disciplined in your diet because um, it doesn't really matter how hard you work if you're kind of putting candy and garbage in your system all the time. You're going to just break yourself down. Yeah, she's the best. We have the best nutrition staff. Um, they've come in, and there's food all over. Um, there's, I met with her and got a diet plan um, that I'm working on. Um, it's just been something where there's a lot of open communication, and um, I just feel really accepted when I go in there and talk to her about my goals, um, and we can look at a lot of the numbers for NFL players in my position, what their body fat looks like, what um, I can do better, how my frame holds my weight. Um, I've got a wider frame, so I can hold more weight than someone else my height. Um, so there's a bunch of different statistics that go into it, but they've done a really good job personalizing and tailoring things um, to guys on the team, and um, you'll see that come fall. There's a lot of guys who've really you know, bulked up well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we love it. Kelly, my wife, is the best. She's the most awesome supporter I could ask for. Um, she's getting her accounting degree here, and she's working for an accounting firm out of Montana right now. Um, but we, we love it so much here. We've got some awesome friends, um, Gordon Teason, Coach Brown, um, some of these people in our lives that God's put in my life. Um, we get to hang out with on the weekends. We're going up there for Easter. So we really feel like we have a family here, um, and we, we love it, um, everything about it here, and I want to be here as long as I can. Yeah, um, just kind of going to Bible studies. Um, Coach Brown had originally brought up his name last year, kind of told his story, and I looked into it a lot more. Um, and the more I read about it, I was just super inspired. Um, Brooks, one of the most incredible stories I've ever heard in my life. Um, it's super tragic, but also the impact he had. You could tell just how powerful of a person he was on and off the field. Um, and that's some person that I aspire to be like. I want to be able to have a good impact on the team and in the community. Um, by being faithful with what the Lord's given me and trying to be um, the best man day in and day out, kind of like he was. And so to wear 18 this year, I consider it a really big honor. Um, I'm going to try to hold myself to a high standard um, character-wise because I know that's what Brooke did, and um, he's just a really big inspiration for me. Yeah, well, it's very important because everyone needs to be needs to get checked in a sense. Um, I think everyone needs to understand that there's a standard, and our standard is excellence, and you can't deviate from that because once we let one person slip, someone else might see that and be like, uh, I, can, I have an excuse now to slip. And so I really appreciate that. Um, that's something that I've seen with one of my coaches in the past, um, and I know that the guys on the team really appreciate it too. Um, it's something that isn't always easy um, because – it's kind of one of those things where you have to have the tough conversation with someone sometimes, but um, it's holding each other accountable. That's only going to make us better as a team. And if you take feelings out of it, it's not personal. It's just account it's accountability, and it's for the team to help us get better.